What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I got a story out of uh, Lafayette, Indiana, man, that you got to see to believe. And uh, it's involving this guy right here. This piece of crap's name is Elisard Monius. He's 28 years old from Lafayette, Indiana. This dude right here is currently locked up for domestic uh, battery on his wife in which he messed her up pretty bad. But that's not the only thing. They had a three-month-old child between them. This little boy right here who's no longer with us. This little boy's name, may he rest in peace, is Jacob Monius. He was three months old. Cute little boy. Look at him. This uh, domestic battery happened over the weekend on Saturday out there in Lafayette, Indiana. Sunday, uh, this baby was found after a silver alert was issued and then called off after he was found inside the apartment, sealed inside of a bucket of laundry detergent beside a trash can in the parents' apartment. The father fled to Indianapolis where he was caught and brought back to the scene. And they said this little boy was put in a place where nobody would find him if they looked or wouldn't think to look. Devil's running rampant out here. And it's like, man, just look, just look. Take a look at the story. Meanwhile, we also have an update on a heartbreaking story out of Lafayette. Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office confirming a three-month-old baby was found dead, suffocated, and now his death is being investigated as a homicide. Tonight, the baby's father is a person of interest in that case. Now he's held on unrelated charges. Fox 59's Claire Curry walks us through the new information tonight. After a second search here at the Acorn Acres apartment complex, three-month-old Jacob Manaeus was found dead inside of a bucket next to the trash. Baby Jacob was last seen Saturday at noon and was believed to be in danger after the boy's mother called police to report a domestic dispute. According to court documents, she told police she was married to 28-year-old Eliazard Monius and that he had beaten her repeatedly with a tire iron or wrench. She was in stable condition at the hospital at last check, but was concerned about the well-being of her three-month-old child. When officers went to the apartment on Lexington Court, neither Jacob nor his father figure were there. A silver alert was issued because police had reason to believe the infant was missing and endangered, but unsure about an abduction. On Sunday at around 5.30 a.m., Indianapolis police located Eliazard and arrested him. However, he was not with his son. Law enforcement went back to the apartment for another look and found the infant's body stuffed into a sealed bucket. Personally, I'm heartbroken. I'm, I have a four-month-old myself, and knowing this so close to home and so close to me, it just hits personally, hits a little, a little bit different. Investigators aren't sure how long the child was concealed before they found him. An autopsy revealed the baby had been suffocated. The coroner's office has ruled the death a homicide. Liazard also was in a Tippecanoe County Court this afternoon. Now, Elizard is being held with no bond for attempted murder and domestic battery charges. However, right now, he's only a person of interest into Jacob's death. Reporting in Lafayette, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News. Following this really sad update on the weekend search for missing three month old out of Lafayette with a connection to Indy. According to Lafayette police, a search turned deadly after discovering the infant Sunday morning. Fox 59's Kid Hanley has more this morning on what we know so far about the disturbing incident and how police are investigating. Kid, good morning. Angela Daniel, after an extensive search on Sunday, we're told three month old Jacob Manaeus, who you see right here, was found dead inside the family's apartment. Quote, hidden in a spot where police say nobody would think to look. Manaeus was last seen on Saturday at noon and was believed to be in extreme danger after the boy's mother had called police to report domestic violence. She was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. However, when officers went to the Lexington Court Apartments to find the missing baby, neither he nor the woman's husband, Elisard Manaeus, were there, prompting a silver alert to go into effect. Indianapolis police located Elisard at around 5.30 Sunday morning, and Lafayette police then came to Indy to take him into custody. They then went back to the couple's shared apartment and found Jacob dead, calling the discovery gruesome. 
Investigators aren't sure how long the child was concealed before they found him. But we should have a better understanding into the cause of death soon, as the autopsy is scheduled for this morning. Police also reported that the baby's mother is not in any position to give a statement on the incident due to the extent of her injuries. Now, as for Alisard, he's being held without bond on charges, including attempted murder and domestic battery. And right now, he does not face charges related to the boy's death, but he does remain a person of interest in this case. In the studio, Kit Hanley, Fox 59 News. Hey guys, I got an uh, article up here by Lafayette Journal and Courier, and it has a little bit more information about what happened to this uh, baby. And the uh, autopsy reports, it talks about the autopsy reports. It says, autopsy reports find baby drowned in a bucket of laundry detergent. Charges are expected on Thursday. And this, this came out yesterday, so I guess he'll be charged this, in the next couple days. It says, it reads as follows. Three-month-old Jacob Monius drowned in a bucket uh, Tippecanoe County Coroner Carrie Costello said, citing Monday's preliminary autopsy reports. Lafayette police confirmed Monday that the liquid in the orange bucket where the baby where baby Jacob was found appeared to be laundry soap. There were signs of obvious trauma to the baby's body that might have contributed to the infant's death, Costello said. On Sunday, police found the infant sealed inside a bucket of laundry detergent set beside the trash can in the parents' Acorn Acres home apartment. While a forensic pathologist worked to determine what killed baby Jacob, the infant's father, Elisard Monius, was in court just a few blocks away at the courthouse. Elisar Monius shuffled into the Tippecanoe County Magistrate's Court on Monday with only the sound of his shackling chains jingling to learn that prosecutors have until Thursday to file normal murder charges against a 28-year-old Haitian immigrant. Until Thursday afternoon, he will remain in a typical new jail without bond, and if charged with murder, he'll likely not have bond while awaiting trial. Monia sat alone in a defense table in a small courtroom without anyone from his Haitian community or greater Lafayette community to support him. He remained quiet, except when asked if he understood parts of the hearing during the thing in which he answered in his native language. A Haitian Creole translator joined Monday's hearing by Zoom and relayed, ma relayed to Magistrate Sarah White's explanation that the prosecutors have until Thursday to file charges. The translator also detailed White's specific instructions about a no, con no contact order with his wife, whom Monius is suspected of severely beating with a tire iron. Monius said he understood at one point, stood up, signed a piece of paper acknowledging no contact order barring him from reaching out to his wife of 11 months. About 90 minutes before the hearing, prosecutors released a probable cause affidavit that accompanied the request of a 72-hour extension. In it, details how officers searched for three-month-old Jacob Monius on Saturday eventually finding a baby early Sunday dead inside a sealed bucket of laundry, liquid laundry detergent. Monius became angry with his wife on August 5th, and the two had not spoken to each other the entire week, according to prosecutors. On Saturday, Monius' mother was in the bedroom with Jacob watching a church service when Eliard Monius came in the room. He took their son. It was the last time she saw her baby alive. The probable cause affidavit does not indicate that the mother heard any sort of disturbing noises of baby cries after Elisard Monius took their son from her arms. A short time after Elias Monius left the bedroom, she heard the apartment door close. About 30 minutes later, Elisard Monius entered the bedroom where his wife was and attacked her with a tire iron, fracturing her skull and cutting her according to prosecutors. Elisar Monius left after, the, after attacking his wife, who then drove herself to the hospital for help, according to the prosecutor. Police were called to the hospital and started an investigation, looking for baby Jacob and searching statewide for Elisar Monius. 
a search of the, apart of the apartment did not find the infant, but Indi Indianapolis police found Ellis Harmonious on the northeast side of Indianapolis. They detained him until Lafayette police arrived to take him into custody. Elias oh man, it's hard saying his name. Elias Harmonious told police that he did not know where his baby was, but he said the baby was okay, according to prosecutors. He admitted attacking his wife and said he hoped she died, according to prosecutors. Just before 5 a.m. Sunday, officers at Monia's apartment became curious about a bucket of laundry detergent by the trash can in the kitchen. The officer opened it and discovered baby Jacob dead inside the laundry detergent, according to prosecutors. That officially, that's officially when the missing person case became a homicide investigation. All right, guys, what is messing with that? Seriously. He drowned his baby in laundry detergent in a bucket. Think about that. I want you to really think about that. He's mad at her. Drowned the baby, came back, killed her. And think about it. He said he left. Went out, took the baby and went out the door, left. Came back, attacked her. Said she didn't hear anything about the baby crying or anything. That's brutal. I don't know where my baby is. Oh, you don't, huh? Mm. That's the craziest thing. You know somebody took a child. They had amber alerts, silver alerts, all this other stuff. You get the person. You ask them questions. I don't know where the baby at, but the baby's safe. Okay, well, if you don't know where the baby's at, how you know the baby's safe? Then you start slapping these dudes up, man, when they, they do all this, this crazy stuff. And it sounds crazy, but I mean, a child's life is at stake that ain't got nothing to do with your issue with your wife. Said so they was only married 11 months. He tried to beat her head in with a tire iron. Wasn't talking all week. Came in there, just picked the baby up, walked out. I don't think the baby even left the house. Honestly, I think he put the baby in that sealed thing. The baby, you couldn't hear the baby anyway because the thing was sealed and the baby was drowning. Who drowns in soap? Can you believe that? Horrific, a horrific way to go and this child succumbed to that. Three months old, looked just like him. They looked alike. How do you do that to somebody that looks like you? That's your little boy. You so angry that you go and do some crazy stuff like that. Had him in court, said he understood, yeah. I tried to kill her. I hope she died. This woman's so messed up with a fractured skull right now, she can't make a statement. Now, they said he's a person of interest. Person of interest means they know he did it. I mean, come on, wasn't nobody in the house. So them two, you know what I'm saying? They say person of interest because the media uses the word person of interest because no charges has been filed for the thing. But I mean, when they say person of interest, that, come on, we already know, I mean, they only went in there. He had the baby. Come on. That's some invisible man went and did it. But then again, I mean, it is what it is, man. Heartbreaking. It's like, man, no matter what issue you got with your better half or worse half or whatever, whoever you dealing with that you got a child with, taking it out on the kid is beyond me or making the child a casualty of war between you and somebody else is beyond me. It is. I mean, Jacob Monet. What's the name? Monius? Rest in peace. And, and may, hopefully this girl will make a recovery. He beat her pretty bad, y'all. Beat her pretty bad. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Three months old. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Shameful.